Good morning everyone, it's Saturday and I'm on my way to Starbucks to get a hot chocolate really quick and then I'm on my way to the Facebook Leadership Retreat in Plano. Hot chocolate in hand, check. Eyes watering profusely, check. Let's do this y'all. I made it on time guys. I'm at the Oak Point Park Nature Preserve and this is where the Facebook Leadership Retreat's gonna be today. And I've got my jacket and my hat and scarf because we might go for a nature walk later. Even though it's cold, it's gonna be fun. I'll just snuggle up and be all snuggly and stuff. And yeah, it's gonna be an awesome day. We're about to have a bit of a dance party break from my CLC Facebook Community Leaders Retreat and we're in tiaras. I think, you know, I think it works. Okay, just left Florin Decor for the last time. I was trying to make sure they had our order correct, but the girl that did it was at lunch, so I'm gonna have to call back at five. So that's like 40 minutes from now, and I don't wanna wait that long. So I'm gonna go home and call her. She's here till eight. So worst case scenario, I come back up here. Hopefully I don't have to do that. And yeah, I've gotta pick out and um, what else? The fixtures over the the um, lighting. Gotta do that too. So still stuff to do. Hey guys, I'm in the garage of our gray house. And the other day when we were here yesterday, I guess it was, we saw that they were like doing the drywall in here. Like not drywall. They were doing the texture in here. In the garage like in our current house we don't have texture we just have i guess like drywall and it just looks meh and here it's like wow it looks finished out it looks like so nice i'm so happy with it i am so happy with it this is our two-car garage and then this is going to be marvin's side where he can put all of his tools and all of his stuff and this is how you go into the house. I know I've given you a tour before, but now with the walls up, it might look a little different. Here's the half bath, the powder bath for our guests. This is going to be a mud bench right here, and it's going to have cubbies at the top too, and cubbies at the bottom. It's going to have tile. This is a utility closet, no door yet. This is going into kitchen, living room, dining room. So on the far side is our living room area. We have a gas fireplace over there. And then we have cabinets here. Our fridge goes right there. We're having glass cabinets on top. And that's how you get to the office and guest bedroom. Here is where the cooktop will be here. And the microwave and the oven will be underneath. And over here is gonna be a built-in hutch. And then here's where our dining room will be. Okay, so from this angle, you'll see we don't have any pendant lights over where the island, which is right there, goes because we wanted the whole, like visually, we just wanted it to be clear and unobstructed. This is the door that, or doorway, it's a cased doorway, so there's no door actually, it's just a cased opening. And this is how you get back to the guest bedroom. This is where our guests will stay. This is our walk-in pantry. And then through this guest room has a vanity area here, which I need to fix, um, pick out the fixtures and the mirror. This is the closet for the guest room. And then straight ahead is the toilet and the tub area. And this is where we're gonna put Captain and Socks, uh, their cat boxes. And my vanity will be right there. This goes into my office, and my desk will be over here. Probably gonna put a bookcase inside the closet, and I don't know where else I'm gonna put everything else. But I'm gonna put most of my stuff in the closet because I have a really large space, and I want as few things as possible inside the office. I'm trying for that like minimalist look, not really minimalist, but I'm just trying to keep things simple, clean looking, not too much clutter out. So that's what I'm trying for anyway. Okay, going back into the living room area. This is our entryway. Pretty sure we're gonna paint this side of the door white. 
Not 100% sure, but pretty sure. And we have a bit of an oversized door. I think it's the 42 inch size, just so like it'll be easier to take things in and out if we need to. And I'm gonna have a coat closet here, which is double the size that we have currently, which is nice. And I'm gonna put an entryway table here. I don't know what I'm gonna put here yet, but TV will go on that wall. We'll have a mantle and it'll have electricity there as well. So in case like I want to put up something that needs lights, there you go. And we'll probably put like a couch and a couch. Just not sure yet. Right now we're just keeping um, our same furniture because I'm not really sure how much money we'll have to spend after we close and all that kind of junk. So for now, we're keeping our same furniture. So just kind of thinking about how I'll place that, but maybe Pottery Barn will call me up and say, we'd like to give you 75% off. I'll go, okay. I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. This is the case to opening again, no door. This just goes back into our laundry room and our master bedroom. This is the master bedroom area. It's gonna have a regular door to go into it. But this right here is gonna be a barn door. And restroom area, oversized shower, and then this large vanity area. So that's gonna be really nice. Have plenty of room. This is our closet. We're probably gonna put racks all the way around. And then I have a dresser and a dresser on each side there. We're probably even gonna put uh, a rack across the window because for most of the year and most of the time we're gonna have, sh uh, uh, not shades, blinds. And so we're gonna have blinds. But like at Christmas time and stuff, we're thinking about putting like a Christmas tree here so everybody can see that. I thought that'd be a nice touch. This is gonna be a pocket door that goes into the laundry room. Again, that way goes back out into the hallway and then back into the living room. But we have washer, dryer, and then we're gonna have a cabinet here that um, will have a, a hanging rack above it, like a little folding station, I guess, if you will, and we'll have upper cabinets here. This is our secondary closet, and still haven't figured out where I'm gonna put the shoes and the extra hanging rods, but we'll figure that out. And then we're back into the living room. I am super excited. I need to text my builder and get the schedule because he was saying like, we have cabinets coming in one day. He wants to start tile on Monday and, or I think on Monday, I don't even know, I gotta find out. So I need to call him and kind of firm up some dates so that I make sure I put it on my calendar and I make myself available for the times I need to be at the house watching what's going on.